today we are unboxing a box from Yves Rocher, which is my favourite outlet for shower gels. I just really love the fragrances of their shower gels. So I've got a box here. It's really heavy, like, and it's full. I've got about a year's worth of shower gels. So let's get this unboxed. Show you what I've got. Some of this is for me, and there's a couple of bits I also got for Mr. Smelly. So I'll pop the box down and I'll just show you one by one. This is my favourite shower gel ever. This is a 400 milliliter, and it's Monoi de Tahiti, and it says you can use it on your hair and body. I love the way the bottle looks, the colour of the shower gel, but most importantly, I love how it smells. How does it smell? Oh my gosh. It's, oh, it's awesome. It's amazing. It's kind of like, a little bit like an aquatic frangipani. There's just a hint of seaside, but really it's just the freshness of the sea without any seaweed or anything nasty. It's just got that slightly crisp sea breeze kind of thing, but no... How do you put it? I wouldn't say it's necessarily salty even. It's just somehow manages to have a fresh, a really fresh sea air thing going on. And a sweet frangy frangy plani, sweet frangy panny, white floral blossoms, a hint of vanilla, tiny hint of citrus nest really beautiful so i've actually got one two three four one of those is for mr smelly the rest are all for me what's next then oh, this one i picked up for mr smelly because he's a big fan of lavender as a note in fragrances this one's called lavandin blackberry and that's a 200 ml shower gel let's have a smell let's see oh wow that is really really blackberry ish like you can't necessarily notice the lavender unless you really look for it very nice really refreshing but that lovely fruity blackberries really nice i could happily use that it's not it's not mega masculine i think dan will like it let's see what else there is oh i'm excited about this one maracuja this is their latest fragrance so they have a sorry i've got an itchy nose they have a new fragrance out with this name, Maracuja, and it's about, I think it's about passion fruit and passion flower, judging by the pictures. So I only bought the shower gel because I don't know if I'm gonna particularly want a fragrance, sorry, bubbling up. I don't know if I'm gonna particularly want a perfume that's just so fruity, which I'm assuming that's what it's gonna be. Yeah, ooh, it's quite nice though. Mm. what's it reminding me of it's it's not just a one smell thing it doesn't just smell like passion fruit it almost smells a bit bubble gummy yeah like a juicy fruit if you remember those wrigley's juicy fruit chewing gums it's kind of a bit like that and i have to say i really like that very fruity. I mean, you've got to like very fruity stuff to enjoy that. But that's better than I expected. Because Yves Rocher send you lots of junk mail and loads of paperwork when they're trying to sell you stuff. It did have a scratch and sniff for this fragrance. And I wasn't that enamoured of it when I smelt it from the scratch and sniff. I thought it was a bit cheap smelling. But perhaps trying to interpret it into a scratch and sniff, maybe it loses something because 
this is much nicer it's kind of a little bit there's a bit of a melon note in here melon maybe some banana but citrusy it's really really tropical i'm going to enjoy using that and i'm feeling dan will like that one as well so that's maracuja and that has a matching body gel like a moisturizing body gel you can get as well as a perfume so next we have pomegranate pink berries this one is 200 mils so these ones are bath and shower gels so you could choose how you use them i always find it a bit of a waste to put them in the bath because uh, you need to use quite a lot to get them all bubbly That's quite nice. I don't love it. I don't like it as much as the others. It reminds me of a strawberry tart. I know it's pomegranate and pink berries, but it makes me think of, uh, it definitely smells a little bit gourmand, dessert-like, rather than a very fresh fruit. I mean, it is fruit, it is fresh, but it's very girly. It's the sort of thing I would expect a 12-year-old to love. So I'll absolutely use it happily, but it's not my favorite. That one is pomegranate pink berries. Next up, I've got a giant bottle of vanilla bourbon. So this is a 400 ml. And I know that I, I once was given a bottle of the perfume for this, and it's a very beautiful vanilla perfume. So I knew that I was gonna love this. Let's just check that fact now. Oh yeah. A little bit like, if you know, Cologne of the Missions, Eau de Missions. It's kind of a little bit like that. It's a very woody vanilla. Not too sweet. It's actually really nice. It reminds me exactly of the perfume that I had of the same name. So it's the exact interpretation of the perfume. I will adore using that. I'm going to be so clean. Super clean. So what's next then? We've got Pamplemousse Thyme or Grapefruit Thyme. So I was excited about that. I do enjoy grapefruit and fragrances. So I thought I could use this and then go on with Pomelo Paradis as my perfume. Whoa, wow. That's really zingy. That's You can really get the herbal nature of the thyme, which stops it being mega sweet. That is bracing, get up and go stuff. That is, you know, if you've got to get up at 4 a.m. maybe to catch a flight or you've got some stupid shift at work or something and you can't wake up, then that is what you need. It is so refreshing. Really, really good, that one. Not like Pomelo Parody, actually. Not like Pampaloon from Aqua Allegoria. It's different. It does smell like pink grapefruit. You get the sharpness and the sweetness combined, the sourness and the herbal thyme as well. Really nice, that one. Next. Okay, what's this? Cotton mimosa, cotton flower mimosa. Now I have no clue what to expect with this, but I just thought I'd try it. This is relaxing bath and shower gel, 400 mils. Let's give it a sniff. If I can open it, that is. Hmm, okay. This is very pleasant. It's not exciting to me. It's creamy. It's a bit like fresh laundry. And maybe I'm thinking because of the word cotton, that's kind of putting that in my head. But it smells creamy yellow, linen-like. Reminds me of something, can't quite put my finger on. It's almost there, it's almost there. Very much like one of those really lovely body lotions. Maybe like something from the Amazing Grace line, pure, you know, like Pure Grace, Amazing Grace, philosophy. Something, it's very philosophy-esque. Smells like, it reminds me of Sun by Jill Sander a little bit. 
clean, fresh, freshly washed clothes, sunshine, just very, very nice actually. A lovely one maybe to use on holiday to wash your suntan lotion and the sand from the sea off at the end of the day. Actually, I quite like that one. So what else have we got? I think I'm just down to two free gifts now. So when you're a loyal customer to Yves Rocher, they're often giving you lots of free stuff. And the reason I bought this particular round of stuff is because they offered me my favorite product free. So normally it's priced around 16 pounds mark, but often you'll find it half price. You can get it for around eight pound. And this is Monoi de Tahishi Precious Dry Oil. And this is the one, obviously, as you can see, with the sparkly gold bits. This stuff is stunning. So let's put some on my hand for you. I haven't rubbed it in. So you can see the shimmer. And now we'll just rub it in. And I don't know if you'll get much of a shimmer now on camera. But it just, if you've got tan skin, it really does look gorgeous. It just gives you a hint of a, a shimmer, a gold shimmer, without being OTT. And then, of course, it's all about the smell, which is similar, but not the same as that one. This one's deeper, richer, more rounded, more smooth. There's none of the fresh notes. It's all about vanilla and beautiful frangipani blossoms kind of a bit like a sunscreen it's gorgeous it's really gorgeous so that is that was my free gift i didn't have to pay for that so that's very exciting and their final free gift is not that exciting it's some kind of bag shopper bag or something i'm not exactly uh what's the word i'm not getting excited but I'll show you it anyway because it's only correct. Okay, so it's, it's literally a shopping bag. Just like those 10p bag for life that you get at the supermarket. So you could just take that to the supermarket with you and fill it with your groceries. So, yeah. Anyway, that's my haul. I hope you enjoyed it. I love Yves Rocher. Let me know if it's a company that you use or if you're going to give them a try. You can generally find bargains. So everything I've bought was on some kind of offer. I can't recall the exact price, but it was things like buy one, get one free or half off. So all in all, I probably wouldn't pay full price for them. A shower gel just gets washed down the plug hole, but it does leave a faint scent on your skin and it's always nice to be showering with a lovely shower gel that you enjoy the smell of in my humble opinion but I wouldn't be forking out 10, 15, 20, 30 pounds for a shower gel not on my wages anyway but that was my Yves Rocher haul I hope you enjoyed it and I'll catch you in the next video